Please display for us Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. And we see verse 13. Lift your hands. Your heavens are open. I say your heavens are open. I say your heavens are open. I bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord shall open to you his good treasury. The heavens. To give the rain of your land in each season. And to bless all the works of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations. But you shall never borrow. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree. Nobody hearing the sound of my voice from today henceforth. The spirit of borrowing is dead as far as your life and destiny is concerned. Amen. Lift your hands. The spirit of lack. Fire. The spirit of lack. Fire. The spirit of borrowing. Fire. By the power of his glory. Fire. That spirit is scattered. Amen. From today, you shall give up to nations. Amen. One person say, Amen. Connect to grace. Amen. Lift your hands. Do you know there are people who can lend to nations? There are people who can lend to nations. Lift your hands. God can do it in your life. That's why you came to church. You came to encounter grace. You came to receive higher grace. You came to receive higher anointing. You came to receive something from God. So that your life can change for good. To better, to best. I lift my hands and I decree. Spirit that has plugged anybody. That has made anybody to be borrowing. I decree today. You are free from that spirit. From today you shall have enough. From today, you shall have enough. I say you shall have enough. I say you shall have enough. I say you have you shall have enough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 13. Lift your hands. After today, your life will change. From good to better, from better to best. And the Lord shall make you the head. And one person say, Amen, receive that. It's not for everybody. And not the tail. And you shall be above only. And you shall not be beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and be watchful to do them. Lift your hands. Every spirit of tell. Spirit of tell is spirit that reduces people to the bottom level of life. Spirit of tell. That is not your destiny. Your destiny is to be on top. It is at the top. At the top, that's where your destiny is. At the top, that is where you are celebrated. At the top, that is where your glory is. Anything that is not top is not your destiny. I decree this morning that any power as you try to rise and that power tries to bring you down, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, let that power that is pulling somebody down scatter if I hear fire from somebody right now. Any power that has been organized, that has been orchestrated to pull you down from where you're supposed to be, I decree let that power scatter by fire. Let that power scatter by fire. Hey, let that power scatter by fire. Hey, let that power scatter by fire. Hey, hey, Are you saying amen or high man? Hey, I prophesy. I receive. You shall rise. Amen. Hey, I 
said you shall rise. Amen. I said you shall rise. Amen. I said you shall rise. Amen. I said you shall rise. Amen. From where you are to the top, I command you to rise to the top. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wave your hands to him. Thank you, Jesus. The top is your place of destiny. Oh yes, sir. <laughs> uh. Lift your hands with it. Thank I decree Jesus. again. I receive. You will never fall. Amen. I say you will never fall. Amen. You will not rise and come down. Amen. From today, as you begin to rise, mm. you will remain on top. Amen. This is very serious. Many people have rose to it. Yes, sir. And from there, they crash. Yes, sir. Haven't you heard? Even in your village, even in some people's family, there were people in your family who were once rich. Mm. Today, they have nothing to show. Yes, sir. So, have you asked a question? What brought them down? And you came to church and God is speaking this way. You are not connecting. If such people had attended this kind of church, they wouldn't have come to the the lowest level of their life and destiny. I decree this morning. I receive. What pull your ancestors down will never succeed in your life. Amen. When your father begin to share his ugly story, you may think that that man was a weak man. Yes, sir. Something fought your father. Yes, sir. Something fought your father. Yes, sir. And you are in the church to receive grace so that what happened to your biological father will not happen to you. Mm. Because the devil that fought your father has not died. Yes, sir. That devil is still alive. Yes, sir. But you need grace to overcome the forces of darkness. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. It's not for everybody, it is for those that are ready. To move out from where they are and have their way to the top. That's the people that God is speaking to. Yes, sir. I lift my hands and I decree. I receive that Baba. the hand of God shall come over you. Amen. Amen. And you shall rise today. Amen. From where you are. Mm. No matter whatever that has kept you to that level. In today's service, by revelation, by insight, by knowledge. Oh, you shall rise above limitations. Amen. I said you shall rise above limitations. Amen. I said you shall rise above limitations. Amen. If you come from a family where nobody rises, if you had come from a family where there is a plug, a, limit, a line drawn in the spirit that nobody will pass this line, as your hands are lifted, uh -huh. I decree you okay. shall pass that left. Amen. You shall cross that line. You shall cross that line. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You shall break record in your generation. Amen. I say you shall break record in your generation. Amen. I say you shall break record in your generation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now listen to this. Wes, Wes can destroy a man. Yes, sir. And Wes can build a man. Yes, sir. Depending the kind of word that is being pronounced over you. Mm. Because Wes had power to create things. Yes, sir. Because Wes are life and spirit. Yes, sir. It can create life, it can create death. As I'm speaking now, this word is creating life to somebody's destiny. Amen. Anything that is dead in somebody's life is it career, is it business, fire. is it finances, is fire. it marriage. Fire. fire. As I decree now, let life come to that right now. Amen. Receive life to anything that is dead in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any part of your body that the enemy has granted fire, fire. that is not working, there's no life in it. Fire. As I'm speaking now, 
life is entering to that part of your body right now. Amen. Amen. Any part of your body where enemy has planted something. Is it tumor? Fire. Is it fibroid? Fire. Is it headache? Fire. I don't know what it is. In any part of your body. Right now, I speak. The Bible says he sent out his word and heal them and deliver them from destruction. He sent out his word and there was healing. Yes, sir. He sent out his word and there was preservation. Yes, sir. That thing in your body that was not planted by God, mm. I command it now to die and disappear. Amen. Amen. Die and disappear. Die and disappear. Amen. I said, die and disappear. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father. Amen. In the name of the Son. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can I hear a powerful Amen three times like that? Amen. Two. Lord is three. Celebrate Jesus. God is awesome. Whoa. God bless you. Be seated. Good morning all.